Hello, hello, my lovely Libra. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome, welcome. I didn't see you for quite long. It feels like it. Uh, thank you for popping in again to my channel, seeing me, if you're new. Also, welcome, welcome. Just a quick um, quick reminder of what I do. Uh, on the beginning of the each uh, tarot reading, I'm picking one card from the Norman deck. And today for Libra popped out a beautiful card, uh, which is the sheep. The, no, the sheep. The sheep ship i'm polish so my english is not perfect it's this this is the card what is for libra so what that card mean well, let's take that card as a our card for a week um well it means definitely kind of some kind of vehicle journey travel departure arrival um some chance some opportunity uh adventure um but also it means some kind of project and definitely if you're getting on with some projects or creating some projects or if you're doing something definitely it is a success for you and success uh, um definitely some success at your work uh what's what's the advice of this card it's just like that card shakes things up it's a positive card um shakes things up and to make some changes and improvements uh in our life and work just this is a kind of shake up card you know you will have a success you know refresh all your ideas starting re this card re-energize us take some trip take a break for a moment maybe just to have a new thought um so just to get the trip to get away for a moment just just to re-energize yourself and that card also and this is also for libras uh, and encourage us to be more bold like bold enough to kick off with something with some project with some idea don't be shy just get on with the uh with 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 your life with stuff what you do that's it Anyway, positive card. I'm quite glad to see that card for my, for our reading. I'm Libra myself, so that's all good. And let's get into our love tarot. You know that I like love tarot. I don't like talking much about money. I prefer love tarots and um, love cards and what's happening in them, love life. So let's get into our tarot. Not enough enough of my talking in broken English. I hope you had a nice weekend, Libra. Weekend week. I didn't see you for a week, Libras. I was very, very busy this week. Very, very busy. I had no time to even hoover my place. Anyway, what's going on with our Libra life? We have a Knight of Swords. We have a Justice. Is that your card? Power. Knight of Wands. Lots of knights. Death. Three of Wands. Page of Cups. The Hermit, and Six of Swords. So in general, what's happening with our Libra love life and in general? Well, Libra, something happened, uh, something happened quickly. Um, it's not far away past the past, what didn't happen long time ago you've made a decision and it was quite um, a quick decision a tower moment 
Stam decision was made in very quick way, eager way, without the thinking, right, I'm going this way now. I've made that decision, I'm going this way now. If it's about relationship, you, you could make a decision about your relationship, but it was your decision because we have in here justice. And you know that that decision, what you make, it's the right one, and you didn't hesitate to make that decision. You just got on with it, and um, it was very quick decision. Something happened, some decision, quick, let's do this, let's do that, let's get on with it. That this was this way. You've made some decision. You've done something. It's a tower moment. You had like maybe this aha moment, right? That's it. I'm done. It's finished. I'm getting more. I'm, I'm doing my stuff. I'm doing this, this and that and that. So this way it's something like maybe it's happening now or it just happened already for you. But you've made some decision, some choice in your life and you moving on. No hesitation. Enough is enough. No waiting. I'm done. I'm done with it. Let's get on. That's it. No more talking. No more thinking. No more. No more anything else. I'm just getting on. And you're very passionate about that, because at the moment you're going through the big, big transformation in you. We have a death death card, and this is you completely changing your life. Your old life is dead now. And I think it's about the tower moment. That decision, what you made. You changing yourself completely. You are a different person what you were like say like say uh, a week ago, month ago. You're going through the big big trans transformation and you and you're moving on. You're also passionate about that, or you have some new project, or you have or you're working on something and you're very passionate, fiery, fiery about that. Um uh, I know that this is relationship reading. But I don't see any serious material for a relationship in here. Serious material is as a, as a, I'm talking about as a partners. I don't see any serious person right that, uh, around in here. I see more um, your thoughts, your passions. We have Knight of Wands and I think it represents you. You are very active at the moment. I think you're very passionate about something, moving on, doing some stuff. Um, and changing completely yourself inside and maybe out, doing something new. You're closing, closing some past, and you you are. It's rebirth. Death is also is ending something, but it's also starting completely new. And you definitely done your. You will be doing lots of thoughts, and you will go within, and you will be looking for wisdom within. We have the hermit. So this is all major arcana in here. And you've made the decision. You're changing, you're doing a big transformation in your life, in you. And then you're going within and you're looking for wisdom. That true wisdom in yourself, in you. And we have again, uh, you moving on. Six of swords. You're going with your life to your calmer waters. We have page of cups in here. We, we, on the top is lots of pages, lots of thoughts, lots of action, your passion. And uh, we have also page of cups. It's possible that someone will come and maybe send, send you a text and a little bit flirt or someone. There is there, there will be people around, but you will choose to be by yourself, to be in hermit mode. to to. And this is not being by yourself and this is something that you feel lonely or sad. You just need that time to digest everything, what's happening in your life, what's happening with you, what's happened, I don't know, what's happened, what decision you make, and you digest it, that you need this peace and quiet. The hermit also me means that you are, if you are very passionate about something, there is also, we will be studies, you will be by yourself studying and uh, uh, learning some maybe new stuff, uh, regarding example if you have a new project, if if this is passionate, new project, you made decision, I'm doing this and that, and I'm focus on this um, you will be doing more studies more research but also you will be researching something more about yourself and I think you will find your like power in yourself and wisdom in yourself that you actually don't need uh, people around you are good enough and you are all right by yourself I'm not saying that there won't be any people chasing you I this this uh, this card also means not only your um, passions or whatever thoughts 
it's also mean the other people but they just only pages and nights so this will be somewhere in the background there will be some people maybe some communication with other people maybe flirty or something but you won't be paying much attention to this you focusing definitely on your transformation on your life on your or self looking for wisdom and moving on with your life and you're, you're very focused and i think I'm, I'm finding this a lot very strong energy from this card uh very brave very, very bold uh you becoming such person i think libra brave bold not taking any shit from anyone just taking and and this is not like very stupid silly boldness you have your wis wisdom inside and death is a big transformation in you also um you're making this what is actually i'm saying this is something for for libra maybe new in life because libra has a problems to make a decision and when libra is making decision it's always it's taking lots of time because Libra has to wait pro, pros and cons um, to make a decision. But this decision, what you made, you didn't think much. This was a very quick decision and you're sticking to it and you're getting on with that. So this is like overall reading uh, for, for, for Libra for this week, what happened. And you will be going within with your thoughts and, and um, researching maybe, maybe learning something new. But let's let's find out um, about the for Libras who wants to know uh, what's going on with their person. The person it can be anyone: are your partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, ex, your crush, or someone who you're thinking um, a lot. It's got both out. So let's let's see what. Uh, what's the intentions of that person? What's thoughts and tech, intentions and actions that person towards you? So focus for a moment and think about the person and let's pick up some cards. Oh my gosh. And we have a, the devil. Libra, are you thinking about your ex? Oh my gosh. Hearts are really angry. Let's take them then. Oh, he wants a new... She or he wants a new start with Libra. There is a person. And it's not probably for everyone, but for me, it's like we have a devil card or some toxic person. I don't know who is that person. For me, it can be your ex who wants a new start with you. We have Queen of Swords, it's you. You are in the center of their thoughts. Libra, Libra. I think they think uh, I think this is the reading about your ex. This card pop out. It's about your ex because you are in your in their thoughts. We have a queen of swords in here. We have a devil. They see you probably or thinking about you that you are the devil, the very toxic person. Um, they probably were addicted to you or you are addicted to them, but they 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 would love to have a they would want to have a start with you, but this is like it, it, they are very passionate about you. But they see you as a devil, as a very toxic person and dangerous. They will move on to the new person. Uh, they will move on to someone new soon. Um, uh, it is soon because this will happen in a sudden moment. They're moving probably to a new person. Um, there is a tower in here and that transformation. So they, in a quickly way, they may, they will change this. They will change their mind and close. They will close the chapter. They will close on you and they will move on to the new person. We have a queen of wands for them. So I think they moving towards this queen of wands, this person, uh, the water, maybe the water sign. I see you in the center of attention. The part in the past, what was it? There was very toxic relationship. Lots of, uh, lots of arguments. Lots of battles, arguments, and at the end, both of your side also the the person felt left out on a cold by you. 
uh, they can they they in a way they would like to start new with you but they are very defensive so there is no communication with them they don't want to communicate with you the silence now is between you and uh, them the past was toxic arguments and feeling left out in a cold feeling abandoned um feeling not fulfilled this was really this this past uh if we're, if we're talking about your ex but i think this this popped out for your ex there was lots of arguments toxicity maybe addictions maybe some i don't know alcohol but lots of arguments between you two you are in the center of the reading so they definitely think about you they would like to start new and have a conversation with you but um there won't be one because they are very defensive and they won't do a first move towards you they won't contact you um <clears throat> they stonewalling you actually if there is such a term they just they are silenced they won't do any moves towards you uh, maybe it's good maybe it's bad i don't know but they will make a decision and they will move on to the new person and i'm very nosy so i want to know is the person on or they will come out towards you and maybe they will see you that you are a quite loving person because we have a queen of uh, uh, cups and um, so there will be transformation and this will be quick transformation this will be sudden tra transformation in them so maybe they will come back to you uh, but um, i'm not i don't think uh, it's completely change of mind there will be some transformation and i'm not sure who, who is that queen of wands so let's see or is that you or is that someone new or they starting new uh with the uh, new person queen of queen of cups so they they did someone from maybe water sign they they starting you and they will they go and completely not looking at you anymore it's over and um, they probably starting you with someone else so this is your person i don't know if it's a good or bad news libra Queen of Cups. Well, um, we have six of cups. Uh, we have two of um, two of uh, wands and ten of cups. I think uh, this is someone who they probably knew from the past. I'm not sure is that you or not. Uh, but this is someone person who they knew already from the past and they had a crush on, on that person and they're moving on towards that person and they will want um, ten of cups they want to be happy and they they will they would want to start a relationship with new person so i think your person is moving on to someone who had they had already in the past they had some past with them some memories with that person so i think they're coming back to the person from the past and that's it and uh, that's it i'm sorry libra i'm not sure are they coming towards you or not if you want them back it's four cards came out okay let's read four cards what is death transformation they're moving on they're moving to four of wands to ten of pentacles and they're moving smoothly, very quickly, making decision, making my, making nice ideas. But they're moving. They have a plan. They have a plan for four of wands and a happy home. They won't do that. They want material stuff. They they focus very much so on building home. They have a plan. This transformation, this death card, this transformation will be that they will plan and they will move on um towards four of wands they want a home they definitely want a home and in a physical also way they want a home and they want to do this very quickly they have the ideas how to get there so they this transformation will be they will get there they will have the idea how to get there how to have a home and build a home good home happy home and i think they have someone new and moving on towards someone new and want to have a home with that new person if you want a private reading, let me know. Call, um, there is a, everything. This will be in the description box. So um, uh, to make it clarify, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone that person. Uh, but the, you, the, you had a lot of arguments with that person, and it was toxic. Definitely toxic relationship. 
uh, arguments, but also everyone felt hurt and left out in a in a cold. And they making the decision. This is death for them card and death for you. So you both make a decision and end it something. Anyway, advice for our lovely Libra. Advice for lovely Libra. As you can see, Libra, Libra, there is a new start. Something tangible, it's a new start for you, Libra. We have the full one, we have Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> and maybe this weekend you will have a, a something to celebrate anyway. Oh my gosh, Libra. Oh my gosh. Why you why why your five of pentacles? Libra beautiful cards. Good that you made this decision and moving moving moving. Libra, we have definitely a new start. As you can see, we have an ace of um, pentacles, we have the full you going forward, you being the let's say a fool you don't care anymore you um don't care about nothing i'm moving forward i'm starting new my life i have some ideas how to start my life and bring some money in it also can be like that and you have great ideas very creative libra you're ready you will be celebrating and in march we have 10 of cups and a celebration um there will be some ups and downs. I'm not sure about this five of pentacles, but I wouldn't worry about that because this is a little bit left out. We have big celebration party. You will see your friends. You will have lots of love. You will be very happy. We have a 10 and nine of cups in here. We have a queen of wands and we have also six of, um, uh, six of cups. So coming back to that, there is someone, there is king of wands. Uh, I'm not sure are you looking for him or not because you're not facing each other but in a, there is a, some king of wands um, uh, coming towards you and it can be a new start but I think you're more focusing on you and you are more brave, bold queen of water, uh, fire in here and um, but you looking forward to the person someone from the past some sweetheart what because we have a six of cups in here uh, Libra I just uh, uh, you in your head you have the tank of cups celebration you're starting new you happy you are very happy in here look you're very happy in here you have everything what you need you are emotionally fulfilled you're happy inside and out and you're starting new with something some new idea which can also involve people other people will be happy with you about that i, will, I want to put a clarifier on um on six of five of pentacles pentacles you can have a doubt about starting something new and definitely you will be looking at the past you are happy inside but you will be missing past that's for sure it's something from the past you will be missing but you are you do you the queen of wands fiery attractive badass lady who is moving on active active person very fri fiery passionate bold definitely attractive let's see who is the king of wands libra look we have an ace of pentacles we have page of wands and we have ace of cups Look, in this line you had the ace of uh, ace of definitely ace of pentacles, so something tangible. It can be some from work, it's some new idea, that person, or thanks to your new idea, you will meet that fiery king. Uh, and definitely is a new start in love and a new start in general as a tangible, something stable, something long term. 
it's new but it will be stable and something long term and that person that king is also a very passionate person so um yeah we're starting new there is a fiery king it can be a fire sign but i wouldn't say that is a fire sign i don't like to use the horoscope sign for each tarot cards i think this is very fiery person can can have a, fire, a characteristic of um, a fiery sign um if we're talking about science it will be um as you know aries leo sagittarius so something fiery something energetic happy cheerful passionate and he will come in to you with the ace of cups he really finds you attractive he wants to come towards you he sees that you're starting new that you are also very active there will be celebration it's probably that you can you can meet that person go out and meet that person let's see five of pentacles why are you worries what's the what why oh you will have four of cups you have seven of swords and eight of eight of swords so what i'm thinking what does that mean i think it's you you will have a moment of really de depression you will have a moment in your head that you're feeling lonely uh you feel betrayed you feel like you 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 you're stuck you are by yourself nobody loves you there is no one there for you and you will have moments and i'm saying moments because you will be inside very happy you will be inside if fulfill you have everything you're happy and you don't have to move anywhere you just content that person look at this person you'll be quite content with your life but there, there will be over there will be moments you know, that you felt betrayed and abandoned but i'm not this is the near near future but i think it's more it's the thoughts it's something what is stuck in your head maybe there will be some issues like in life but i don't see big issues it's it's more you maybe you don't see anyone maybe you will feel lonely and betrayed because you don't see anyone really attractive around you like someone who like catches your eye and you can feel oh my gosh there is no one there for me uh, i'm by myself I, I stuck i'm you know and this this moment but this will be in your head because in general you will feel really really fulfilled so don't think this thought and let's see that uh, six of cups and that sweetheart from the past two of swords i think there will be a moment that maybe someone from your past will come and appear in your life and cause these things these thoughts this depression this feeling abandoned i think that person uh, we have five of swords this magician there is the person still in the past in general you will be content content with your with your with your life but i think that person from the past who was your sweetheart you you were in love with that person can pop in you can also do one mistake and this is also not for everyone i think there is a new person who wants to give you a cup of love is interested in you find you very attractive but you looking towards this past person as someone from the past who was the trickster who was the liar and didn't treat it you well and you will be thorn and that's why you will have the moments of doubts uh, moments of feeling, feeling lonely and neglected and um i think that's why you we have these cards of abandon that person pop, probably will pop in again in your life contact you quickly and leave you again torn and hurt uh, but this is nothing serious this can be a message but you come back to the past you will you will be thinking about the past and you will feel yeah this is that person that person will pop in you will feel thorn you won't be looking much about for on that king because that person from the past will uh, pop in and you will be like, oh, oh, he's again around again. Oh, we're talking. Oh, I don't know now what to do. Should I? So you will completely neglect that person who is coming to you in with honest cup of love and with cup of love. And he that person has also offered on offer you cup of love and ace of pentacles new person and it's the two offers he, he will give you material stuff and love that person is and is really passionate about you but you don't do that libra you as the queen of uh, wands you're looking towards the past person and you feel thorn stuck what to do don't do that libra 
uh, depressed, sad, you know that this is not right for you, that this bad feeling, gut feeling in your stomach is not right, and you will feel like this, because you're turning your head from this king, look, you fall, you're you looking towards that past person, that person, that person will pop, will pop in into your life, probably message or something and hurt you again and, and these thoughts will come back as i said you will be in general in your life you have nine of cups and you are content with your life you're happy you have everything libra at the moment you have happy family happy home you have a ten of cups you have people who loves you but there is this thoughts about the past person person from the past who ha you have the good memories with that person too and that person was magician and was an honest person trickster liar secrets other ladies something but you still you, you love that person because we have honest honest uh, feelings in here and it was your sweetheart but the person uh, will pop into your life and make a mess in your head again so libra this is your ad advice this is your cards for the week if you want a private reading let me know everything will be in the description box i hope you like that my reading and i really hope to see you again soon i will try my best maybe next week i will have more time so i'll do more readings and um, give me some ideas and thank you very much for popping in and watching me again bye bye Libra. have a lovely lovely um next week and we can